Hi everyone, welcome back to this Let's Play of Pokemon Anniversary Crystal. When we left last time, I promised that I would tell you about the rules I'm going to use for capturing, uh, so let's do it. Here we go, our first potential friend. Oh, okay, look at this. This usually is not found here. As far as I remember, there were definitely not Cubones above Pallet Town. Uh, I am in a bit of a jam, though, because I forgot to heal. I should have talked to Mom first. Um, but that's okay. Maybe Leech Seed can help me here. It's a great animation. Can I survive? Okay. I'm okay. Alright, so Leech Seed will mitigate the damage Cubone is doing to me. Okay, getting close here. Alright, he's in yellow. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a Pokeball. So there's a lot of community rules um, for Pokemon games to add a little more challenge. Alright, got her. Um, Nuzlocke's probably the most famous one, but there are others. Uh, with the AI that I've got running here, I don't think I want to do a full Nuzlocke. Um, as you see, I would have lost Rootin twice over already. Uh, I don't think that gels well with the kind of game that this is. Instead, what I'm going to do um, is kind of simulate the team scarcity that a Nuzlocke employs. Um, so with a Nuzlocke, you can only catch and use Pokemon that you find um, in each new area. Um, but I also want to complete the Pokedex, so that doesn't work for me either. So what I'm going to do in a stroke of nerdery, uh, I have a d20 here. And what I'm going to do is when I catch a new Pokemon, I'm going to roll the d20, and if it comes up 15 or better, that Pokemon is a candidate, uh, and he can join my team as a regular member. Uh, if it comes up as less than that, then he just kind of lives in the box, and maybe we'll evolve him later just to get the data. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. So I can't really plan my team, because it depends on chance. So I'm going to go ahead and roll the die for this Cubone right here. <laughs> That's a 14. So Cubone does not make the cut, unfortunately, which is kind of a bummer, because um, I was really excited to see Cubone so early in the game. Uh, well, we'll still give her a name. Hmm. How about... Yeah, I like that. Too bad she'll be in the box, though. Okay, uh, before we do anything else, let's heal up. <laughs> the game has other ideas. I think my best play here is to run. Yeah, level four. I'm gonna run. Sorry. Uh, I do like in a Nuzlocke run how the team composition arises naturally, without a lot of forethought. Um, so hopefully by employing the die here, we can simulate that a little bit. Because I do enjoy that aspect. But the fainting and then releasing, and that's actually kind of stressful. So let's not do that part. Oh, Yorick. Oh, this is definitely not the sprite that a Cuban would have had in gold, silver, and crystal. It would be that generic monster sprite. And I think Bulbasaur sprite, too, would be that Bellsprout-looking sprite. So it looks like there are... Uh, custom sprites for each species, if these two are an indication. That's nice. That's a great change. Alright, out into the wild. Let's see if we can find a friend. Uh, I guess I should also mention that I won't catch repeats, so if it's another Q oh, and it is. Um, so I can't catch this and then roll the die again on Cubone. That's a little cheap. Uh, we will defeat it for experience, though. We're still at a deficit from that first loss against our rival. I am very interested to see where the gym leader fights take us. Um, I haven't looked really at the AI scripts. I am familiar with Python a bit. Uh, which is one of the reasons I was actually able to get it up and running, finally. 
Um, but I haven't looked inside. I can only assume it's a, a series of nested, you know, if-then statements. Uh, which is much better than the rudimentary stuff that the original Pokemon had. I'm sure anyone who chose Bulbasaur in Red and Blue remembers Dragonite. Oh, <laughs> what is this? Vulpix above Pallet Town. Okay. Let's see if we can nab her. Um, I haven't been paying complete attention, but it looks like... Um, we've been trending towards seeing female opposing Pokemon. Okay, great. We know what comes next. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, um, if you sent your Venusaur up against Lantis Dragonite, I think it was agility he would use over and over again, because it was a Psychic-type move, and the game was smart enough to know that Psychic-type moves should be super effective against poison types like Venusaur, except that agility, of course, was uh, a status move and not a damaging move, so... You could basically just set up on him and just sit there forever. Okay, we've got Vulpix. Let's let fate decide if she joins us. That's a no. That's a 12. Vulpix will not be coming with us. She is cute, though. How can the fur be more luxurious than it already is? Okay. Um, at least, and she'll be easy enough to evolve later on. We'll just nab a Firestone and then get her data. Let's see. Vulpix. Hmm. So, Flame, but then Flam. Flam? Is there something there? Like the, the Final Fantasy monster? No. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Too bad we won't use her. Okay. Let's keep going. Um, I know there's Pidgey and Rattata here. So we should try to grab them. Of course, they wouldn't be my first choice for teammates, but hey, we'll take what we can get. Alright, we get our purple friend again. This one's male. Uh, okay. Let's do this old song and dance. I do miss the getting experience for capturing Pokemon mechanic in the later games. I'm really feeling the, the loss of that now. Okay, and just before we bite it, let's throw a Pokeball. Okay, great. So, again, we're looking for 15 and up. That's a five. Fate says no to Rattata. Oh, oh, oh no, I don't miss that feature because there it is. That's just fantastic. It multiplies very quickly. Okay, let's see. A name for a rat. Hmm. Here we go. This is not commentary on the Rattata line. I think they're great. But I just think this is a good nickname. Okay. Come on, bird friend. <laughs> the type diversity above Pallet Town. It is really shocking. Okay. Let's do it. Let's see if we can get a Pika friend. Yeah, not very effective, so we'll be able to tank a bunch of those. I'm worried about a crit, though. So let's do this. This should give us at least two turns to get it, but I think we only have one Pokeball left. So this will be alright. Okay, so Leech Seed can't crit. So we'll burn a turn here. some more health. We can probably even do that one more time. I like this sprite too. It's a nice...
compromise between the modern looking Pikachu and the fat Pikachu from Red and Blue. Which is a great little sprite. Let's see. Oh, oh no. No. Oh, that's okay. Well, there's nothing stopping us from coming back here and trying to grab another one. Um, I might not record that part, though, because the hunt is often not as exciting as the fight. But we'll take some experience. And we should go buy some more Pokeballs. So this type diversity above Palatown, this is fantastic. One of the things that the later Pokemon games do well... Um, is giving you that species diversity very early in the game, which is important for a lot of reasons. Um, the main one being, you know, you want diversity on your team. Alright, uh, it's hard to shop and talk at the same time. So let's grab... Let's grab ten of these. Great. That's what I want. I also, you know what? I do want potions. Oh, you're out of potions. Okay. Um, I'll take two antidotes then. Great. Uh, so as I was saying, you want that type diversity because you want to be able to build a versatile team right from the beginning. And the other thing that it does is it encourages replayability. I remember as a kid replaying, you know, red, blue, and yellow so many times. And one of the things I really struggled with was each time trying to make the team unique. Um, a lot of the time that meant just kind of carrying the starter... And having, actually having the starter carry me far enough into the game where I could get Pokemon I hadn't used before. So seeing this type diversity so early, it really makes me think that the developers of this mod, um, they really understand what makes Pokemon good. So that gives me a lot of, of hope that this is going to be a really fun run. Which it is already. Okay, oh yeah, let's heal these guys. And let's... Let's botch the guys that we, uh, not botch. <laughs> not like I botched that capture of Pikachu. Let's box the guys that we're not going to use. Um, I guess I could keep one. Hmm, no. I was thinking of using one as a pivot in case I needed to switch out and then heal up. But that kind of is against the spirit of what we're doing. So we're just going to stick with Rootin here. She's doing just fine. Uh, I will have to remember to change the boxes once in a while. That always catches me off guard when I try to replay the old games when I go to throw a Pokeball and my box is full. Um, but who knows, maybe that's something else that's been fixed here. Like I said, I don't know much about this mod at all. I remember this guy though, is he going to stop me? Uh, you know what? Yes, I am in a hurry. I am. I've heard your spiel so many times. It's a mystery. I forget what it says if you try to go in. Is it just locked? Yeah, it just locked. Okay. Alright, I'm going to go hunting. I'll be back in a bit.
Okay, he's in yellow. Haha, <laughs> they did give me a Premier Ball for buying 10. Oh, should I use it? No, he's not low enough. I don't want to waste it. Okay. Alright. We've got a new buddy. Uh, let's see if that's meaningful to our team, though. He's our buddy either way. His utility doesn't define his butt ability. Okay, moment of truth. Let's see. <laughs> that's a 15. So that's a yes to this little guy. Um, that's fun. Okay. Hmm. A name. A name for a Pikachu. I've used so many Pikachus over the years, I'm running out of good nicknames for them. Let's see. Pikachu. Pika. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I'm going way off the wall with some of these nicknames. I like it. Twin Peaks. This is our buddy Twin Peaks. Very cool. Alright, we have an actual friend now. Uh, level 2, not great. And Thundershock is not a super move. Unless we find Pidgey. Alright, let me go heal. Again, the game has other plans. Uh, another thing I don't want to do so much is I really don't want to grind a ton. Uh, as a child, I was a notorious grinder. My friends like to bring up the time that I leveled up my entire team up to level 50 without leaving Diglett's Cave in red, blue, and yellow. And I guess that's one of the trophies of a misspent youth. Uh, so I'm going to try to curb that. There's plenty of trainer battles coming up in Viridian Forest. And I can swap Twin Peaks and Rootin in and out and get them up to scratch. Okay. Um, you know, there's going to be plenty of opportunities for Pidgeys. I'm not going to waste any more time here looking for them. I do want to check the patch that's over here. Is it over here? It's been a while. Yeah, here we go. I do kind of want to see what's over here. Um, I'm going to say we'll get into three encounters here. Just to see what's on, what's here. <laughs> oh, this diversity train rolls on. I love this. This is great. Uh, will this kill him? I am level two, but he is level two as well. Come on, Polywag, hang on. Yes, great. Let's nab this fellow. Not quite. I wish I had my ability static, because that definitely would have triggered there. No abilities, sadly. Uh, he can take one more, unless it was a damage roll. Alright, let's send in Rootin. And let's leech a little bit. I do really want this polywag. And I hope I roll well. Poliwhirl is probably one of my favorite designs. And I like Polyrath and Politoad also. Um, which does bring to mind, I wonder how the trade evolutions are implemented in this game, if they even are at all, or if we're just locked out of those. 
Okay, Poliwag. This is great. A water type this early. I mean, that was really one of the problems of red and blue. If you didn't start with Squirtle uh, and you didn't want that magic carp that that guy sold you, you were waiting for a while for a decent water type. But Poliwag is top tier. Okay, that's right. I always forget that the swirl is actually the intestines, which makes them a little less appealing. Okay, let's see. Are you going to be my friend, Poliwag? That's a critical miss. <laughs> that's a one. So no, Poliwag will not be coming with us. But that's okay. Um, huh. Hmm. How about telling it like it is? All right, all right, that's one. I said three over here. I'll stick to it. Okay. This is not so much a surprise. I know that the Nidorans both are over here uh, in the classic games. Luckily, Nidoran does not pick up his ground type yet, so we can Thunder Shock freely. And let's see. Great. Get some experience, and we'll see about our friend Nidoran. Uh, the rabbit influence of the Nidoran family didn't occur to me till much at much later, uh, after I was playing the games. Someone told me that, and then I looked at them again. I was like, oh, "I'll be darned, they are rabbit-like." Um, but they were just Nidorans to me. Okay, let's see. That's a two. Not much better than the one. But it still means that Nidoran will not be joining us. But we still need a nickname. Let's see. Let's see. He's got needles. Which are kind of like pins. But then that's like pin sir. So that's tough too. Uh, some of the trouble I have with naming Pokemon is sometimes I think of a pun or something to do with their type. And as I'm typing it I realize that that's already the name of another Pokemon. So that's no good. That happens more often than, than I'd like to admit. Let's see. Um, how about this? We were just talking about it. Uh, okay. Oh, I got something here, I think. <laughs> I like this. Okay. Um, I like this because it's either Rabbit Horn or it's Rabbi Thorn. Which I like better. Uh, <laughs> too bad we won't be using Rabbi Thorn. Okay. Uh, one more encounter in this patch. And it's another Polywag. So, not useful for our team, but we will have Twin Peaks zap it for us. Maybe bring him up to level 4. Getting real lucky with those double slaps. I think the other one rolled a full five hits, and this one rolled four. Not bad. Okay. Um, actually, I wanted to look at Twin Peaks stats. I kind of jumped through that level up screen. Let's see. Uh, yep. Speedy. Um, higher attack than special attack, which was always an issue. I don't know if we'll have access to the physical electric moves, like Volt Tackle. I don't think we will. Maybe we will. Maybe there's a, a move tutor. We'll find out. Okay, uh, I think that's good. I'm going to heal up, and I'll meet you at the foot of Viridian Forest.